you gorgeous YouTubers, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my Thindy spy bag video. If you watched my original spy bag video, then you already know what this one's about. And if you didn't get a chance to see it, please watch that. You'll love it if you love the spy bag. This video is going to tell you the difference between a counterfeit spy bag and an authentic spy bag. Now, I encourage you to visit your Fendi stores, talk to associates that knew the spy bag or that know a lot about the spy bag. Also, do your research on the internet and gather as much information as you can until you feel 100% confident going into the pre-loved market. Because I would hate for you to be hoping and wishing and praying that you're going to buy a Fendi spy bag and then you get it and it's not authentic and then you're frustrated and heartbroken and you got to, you know, fight and argue with the seller to get your money back. So I'm going to do my best in this video to show you the differences between the two and this replica fake counterfeit bag that I got for you guys is a really good counterfeit. There is one step better as far as the counterfeit market goes in the fact that there's a bag called the AAA bag and it is um, done a little bit better than this one but I'm going to show you what that AAA bag has that's different than this fake one so that you know what to look for as well. So hopefully you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section. Remember, my very next video will be destroying this um, counterfeit bag. So that's going to be fun as well. So let's get right into the video. If you see this bag, as we're looking at it right now, on the internet, the pre-love market, you might assume that it was real. There's three things that you can see just based on this view that tell you that this bag is not authentic. The first thing that you can look at are the knots on the handle. Each Fendi bag is made with seven knots on each side of the handle, so for a total of 28. This bag only has six on each side. So I'm gonna bring it close up and show you what I'm talking about, and that way when you look at pictures, you can just count the knots to make sure that it is an authentic bag. And if it's not, if it doesn't have seven, you can move on. So on the fake bag, you could see one, two, three, four, five, six knots. On an authentic Fendi bag, there will be seven. So I'm going to bring mine over and show you. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So remember that, okay? That's the first thing. The second thing I can see by looking at this bag is the material. It's supposed to be in this material, um, the calf or the Napa, however you want to say it, the leather, it should be very pebbled leather, okay? This leather is very smooth. It has maybe a little bit of texturing going on, but definitely not any pebbling. So you can see that. Uh, authentic Fendi spy bag is going to have a lot of pebbling. See? So make sure that the bag that you buy, if it's this material, that there's a lot of pebbling. Now, there is a list on the internet that you can find. I'll try to leave the link in the comment section. And it has the list of every spy bag that was ever made and the material that it was made from. So that's the first thing that I would do if I'm looking for a spy bag is make sure that the color was actually released by the Fendi company. So, you know, if you're getting a yellow spy bag with black spots on it, then they didn't make one, then you know it's not authentic and you can just move on. So, the first thing, the knots. The second thing is the pebbling. The third thing that I can see just by looking at this bag is this lipstick container. Now, the thing about the lipstick container is that the weaving on the handle should go from the top to the bottom, which this piece of fake leather does. It just doesn't weave to the bottom. On an authentic Fendi bag, it'll weave all the way from the bottom to the top. Okay? So let me show you that. So see how the weaving on the authentic bag, it goes from the top clear to the bottom? That's how it should be. Okay? You can also ask them to see the back of the lipstick compartment. It should have this Frankenstein stitching, but it shouldn't be stitched directly on to the same 
um, weaved material. It should be on a added piece of leather and then stitched on to the weave. Let me show you on my bag. This is a picture that you don't see very much on the internet, so make sure that you're asking them to see the Frankenstein stitching. You can see that mine has an outside stitching and then it has the little stitches on the inside. So I call it the Frankenstein stitching. That is not the name of it, but it's what I refer to it as. So there's that. So those are the three things just based on this picture that you can see that the bag is fake. So the next thing that I would look at is the hardware. Now on the hardware, you're going to see that it is going to be kind of a mixture between gold and silver and it's really pretty and flawless. On this hardware, you can see a lot of bubbling. Now based on the pictures that the seller gives you, it's going to be kind of hard to see that. So you're going to have to look for other things. One of the things that I would look for is the Fendi. There's going to be on an authentic Fendi imprinted on the top and the bottom. It's going to be printed upside down on the bottom, but it's going to be absolutely perfect and even. They did do a pretty good job on this counterfeit, but you can see some of the like blurriness and the paint is kind of all swirly. On some of the counterfeit bags, I've seen the Fendi. It'll be like painted black inside there. So make sure that you look at that. And then also on the back of an authentic, it will say made in Italy, which this counterfeit one does too. So you got to make sure you're looking at everything. And then also the lipstick compartment. Now, based on the way that the seller um, puts this in a picture, it might appear that it has the glass beveled gem in there, but it doesn't. And one thing you want to make sure when you get the bag is that it doesn't make a sound when you rub the pin across the Fendi. If it makes a sound, it is not authentic. Now, this one might be making that sound because there's no glass gem on top of it, but this is how it was made. Also, have the seller send you a picture of the inside of the lipstick compartment. It should not have these two dots. It should just be flat. Okay? So let me show you what the real gem looks like. And actually, what this is for is a lipstick. It won't fit a lipstick, but it will fit maybe a chapstick. Um, but what the gem was, was a mirror so that you could put the lipstick on. That's why they call it a spy bag. So you hide your lipstick and then you have your little mirror. So that is a mirror. You cannot feel the Fendi. It is inside there. And then if you open the lipstick compartment, you will see it's just flat. There's no dots in there. So that's something that you can look for. Also, inside the spy bag, in the little change compartment or the little hidden pocket, have the seller send you a close-up picture because a lot of the bags I see online are like this and you can't see the picture close up. Have them send you a picture so that you can see the screws. The screws on a fake bag will be um, the Phillips head, but on an authentic bag, it will be a flat head screw. And make sure also, this is a better quality fake, um, make sure that it has a double hinge, which this one does. You can just see a bunch of paint buildup. You can tell that it's not authentic just by looking at that. But the double hinges, that's how Fendi does it. There shouldn't be any gaps here. It should be a nice double hinge. Now, let me show you the authentic so that you can see the difference. And remember, the hardware will be clean and polished and shiny. It won't chip or peel. It'll be really nice. So let me show you the flathead screws and then the double hinge. So that's how an authentic bag should look. Now, a lot of the fake bags have just a single hinge. That right there tells you that it's fake. So if it has a single hinge, no matter what, it is fake. If it has a flathead screw, um, that doesn't necessarily mean it's authentic because the triple A's I was talking about, they have a flathead screw and they have the weaving that goes from the top to the bottom. So you have to look at other things. Okay. And one of the main things is the knots and then the material and the texture, which you're going to be able to see the pebbling. You're not going to be able to feel the material to see what it feels like until you actually get the bag. Now, another thing that I can tell you on most of the counterfeits that I see, there is a huge strip of leather on the inside where the pocket was sewn. There should not be an entire strip of leather like that. It should only be an inch. So the pocket should have came down to here. This is a very short pocket. It doesn't fit a lot. I'll show you on mine. 
I'm doing this the best that I can for a candid video that I'm not going to edit. Um, and I'm sorry if this video is long. I just want to make sure that I go into all the details. So see the little inch of material? That's how it should be. Giving you a longer pocket. Now, the stitching on an authentic bag will be perfect. But on a lot of the counterfeit bags, the stitching is perfect as well. So just remember, always on an authentic bag, you're going to have perfect stitching. But on a fake bag like this, you might not be able to see any flaws in the stitching. So you want to look very carefully when you get the bag. I'll show you. There's only one flaw that I found in this bag when it comes to the stitching because it was done very well. The actual flaw is on this part, you can see it's very loose. So that was the only flaw that I seen in the stitching. But yeah, also this handle, once you get it, you would know it was fake because this handle is so scratchy and gross and it is stretchy. Look at that, it's like a slinky. And an authentic Fendi spy bag will not stretch like that. Also, the handles will hold their shape. See how those ones just collapsed and that's how they are now? And you have to actually bring them back up to get them to come back into shape. Let me show you on the authentic bag. If you push the handles down and you let them go, they bounce back up into shape. So, see, so push them down, back up into shape. And these ones, not so much. So that's an instant, instant way to tell as well. Because no matter what, the Fendi spy bag handles will hold their shape. So that's a good thing to know. Um, okay, on the inside, the material, the Zuka print, will be the Fs. And on most counterfeit bags, they do the Zuka print the correct way. It's going to be, the Fs are going to be perfectly lined up with each other. And the top of the F is going to be thicker than the middle of the F. And then you're going to have the one upside down. And it'll be all across. And Fendi does not necessarily start the Fs on top of the bag. As you can see, my Fs are inside the change pocket. But they will make sure that it's perfectly straight and it will have these little pleats. That way when you open up the pocket, it is absolutely perfect inside there. And the pleating, it just looks really uniform and nice. And the material feels good. It's soft. It's thick. It's a very durable material, but it is high quality. On the fake bags... All that I've seen, they're just bunched up in here like that. They don't really care about the quality. And there's no pleating or anything. It's sewn in here crooked. And it just does not look nice. So, don't be mistaken when you see a bag that has a serial number and a hologram sticker. This one did have a hologram sticker, but it fell off and I cannot find it to show you. But on an authentic bag, the hologram sticker will not peel off. So there's a couple things wrong with this. I've seen a lot of bags on the internet for sale with this like grossness where the sticker fell off. This is not how the number should be. This should be one number. The number should be a little bit bigger. And this is almost the same tag that they use on the authentic. And this does say on it, the label guarantees the authenticity of this garment. It does. It guarantees that this garment is a fake counterfeit bag. That's what it guarantees. So don't be put off if you see a hologram sticker on a fake bag because it is not real. I'll show you mine. It's funny because I'm, I gotta be so easy with my bag because I love it and I'm not so easy with the other bag. So there's an authentic one. It's sideways, but you can see the number is imprinted on it. And the hologram sticker is perfect. It can't be peeled off. I don't know if they hot iron it on or what they do, but they put it on there very, very well. So the other thing you want to look for is the serial number, but that's not going to tell you if it's fake or real. This is just a very crappy um, serial number tag. It's just floppy. It's made out of the same cheap material that this is. It's like a wannabe leather or pleather. It has the number imprinted in it on both sides. An authentic Fendi spy bag, a leather one, will only have it imprinted on one side. And it'll be nice and clean. And you'll be able to see the numbers really easily. So 
so I'll show you. So there it is. It's nice and clean. It's soft. It's the same material as the outside of the bag. But do not go off of those two things to tell you if a bag is authentic or not. Just know that if the bag doesn't have it, it's automatically fake because they're going to have it. Now, they didn't introduce the hologram stickers until later on, so I wouldn't even use that at, at all to tell you if it's fake or real. But know if it doesn't have a serial number, it's fake automatically. And if it does have a serial number, you need to look at all the other things so that you can um, find out if it is fake or real. The last thing I'm going to talk about is the stitching little weaved piece that's on the bag. It should be tight. It should be sewn in there very tightly, and it's like a little tiny weaved pattern. On this fake bag that I got, it is very big and loose, and it's not even made out of the same material. So, yeah. So this is the fake Fendi Spy Bag. The next time that you see it, it will be being cut up into many pieces and thrown away in the trash. So if you guys have any questions or comments or requests, please leave them in the comment section. I hope I was able to teach you a huge amount about the Fendi Spy Bag. I absolutely love it. I've even considered starting to collect them because they are such a beautiful bag. One last thing that I wanted to do for you guys is show you the difference between the size of my Artsy and the size of my Speed or I mean uh, Fendi because even though the Artsy's a little taller, the bags fit about the same amount. So they're the Speedy or the um, Fendi Spy Bag is a really big bag. Now this is the 16, um, the 16 inch bag. They did make a 21 inch bag that they discontinued rather quickly because it was so big. But um, they do make one that's a little bit smaller. But I just wanted to kind of show you that it is, it's about the same and it fits, you know. It fits about the same as my Artsy does. So if you were looking at getting the bag, and I'm sure it fits as much as the Speedy does. So it is a nice size bag. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And until my next video where we will cut it up into many pieces, I look forward to seeing you. And until then, I say bye.